I think what's really what's really cool so far about Brazil is the the perspective of of what is a perceived reality of a place and what it actually is. Like we heard so many people talking about Brazil that it was you the minute you drop anchor, you are going to get robbed, you're going to get raped, your boat's going to be broken into and it affected us like our our last night on passage. We were thinking about all these things and having a talk about what happens if somebody boards the boat and we've never done that entering any other country. And then you get here and you know, of course it's not like that. Of course there are places like that, but here our first impressions of Brazil are like super safe, super friendly. I don't know, man, just very welcoming and home and people are just here to have a good time, especially on this island of Ilha Bela. It's just like a little resort destination, so super safe and I don't know, you're drinking fresh caparinhas on the <laughs> beach. After months of sailing, we are finally in the land of Churrasco, Caipirinhas, and beach parties. Brazil is the largest country in South America, boasting a population of over 200 million people. There's plenty of cool tourist attractions, miles upon miles of golden beaches, and everyone speaks Portuguese. Eu não falo português. Eu sou americano. But if you head to noon site or talk to other cruising sailors, it's very likely you'll come across reports of sailors being harassed, robbed, or even worse. We were cautioned time and time again that Brazil can be a very dangerous place. Instead of making a snap judgment, we decided to be smart. So we did our research just like we do before visiting any country, no matter its reputation. We found out that most incidents happen when sailors unwarily anchor right in front of a favela Basically, a city within a larger city, with its own sort of rules that you will never understand unless you live there. We reached out to the sailor community in Brazil and got some great advice. We sailed well to the south, to the state of Sao Paulo, and the island of Ilabela, which literally means beautiful island. Instead of favelas, it has 360 waterfalls. We figured it would be a great place to get our feet wet and learn more about Brazil before venturing to the big cities up north. Previously on Delos. After 15 days at sea, we sail into Brazil, party like a band of drunken sailors, and meet our new friend Felipe. He's uh, Felipe. Hey, bro. Nice Felipe. to meet you, man. How are you? Good morning. So I guess it's our second morning in Brazil and it feels absolutely insane. Like <laughs> I don't know, we had such a good time yesterday, like it's meeting Felipe and going in and um, like the party that we were at, it was just super Brazilian. <laughs> it's definitely different than I thought it would be. I guess this is just one island as well and this is a huge country, but everybody was so friendly and... <laughs> curious and they want to know like why you're here and like uh, why you find this island so amazing and all of these signs that people are very proud of kind of their island or their home and they want us to have a good time which I always find is super special and really amazing. Felipe was a bit too wasted to drive home last night so he slept over uh, on the sofa and now we've woken up today and we're gonna 
it looks like another incredible day and we're gonna go in and try to check in today so Felipe is Very being closer. a star today and he's gonna be Please our pipes. guide yeah. slash translator slash friend overall, hero, <laughs> ov overall hero <laughs> <laughs> The reports of check-in in Brazil were confusing at best. We'd even heard in some cities that after days of bumping head-on into bureaucratic nightmares, people had actually given up and sailed on. Oi, hey, senor! Obrigado. Bom viagem. The problem is, barely any foreign cruising boats visit Brazil, especially south of Rio. So even though it's possible, the check-in process is not well known to the local officials. It's up to you to track down the federal police, customs office, and coast guard all on your own. And then you better be prepared to step up your Portuguese game. Luckily, we had Felipe on our side to translate. <laughs> what is that? Huh? What is the sign for? It's just uh, it's local, like graffiti, local right? graffiti street art. And local uh, philosophy. What, what is it? What is it in Portuguese? Arroz. 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 Yeah. What's the sign say though? Arroz, feijão e ganja. Okay. Rice, beans and weed. Arroz, feijão e ganja. Rice, beans and weed. <laughs> I like Brazil already. All you can, all, all you need to live. <laughs> Amigo, deixa eu te perguntar, como é que eu faço para chegar no Porto? Porto vai dar retorno aqui, ó. Sentido a primeira e segunda rua à sua esquerda. A segunda? A segunda rua, a primeira e segunda rua à sua esquerda. Aí. A segunda rua da praia, a sua esquerda. Beleza, obrigado, viu? Nada bem, vamos fazer. Obrigado. O que é yeah, it's uh, a, a very uh, respectful thing to wear long pants and a collared shirt into official offices in Brazil. Look at the the ones that have been in the sun and then the ones that haven't. <laughs> so faded. <laughs> you can use the papers. <laughs> Okay, what's the deal? Yeah? Well, it turns out that uh, it took us an hour to figure out that this is not actually the federal police, this is the customs office. Okay. And then it took him a long time to get his phone working. And once he got his phone working, then he was able to find out that the federal police is actually closed right now. So he said, maybe go to the beach and hang out for a while or eat something <laughs> and then go around two o'clock. Come back next week. <laughs> We worked out a plan and it begins with pastillas, Brazilian street food. Pastelaria Central. Studying it. It's like a pizza in a little pocket. It's like pizza. A, it's like a Brazilian hot pocket. Oh yeah, I want, I want one of those. Oh, oh man. <laughs> so we pretty much decided to just order two of everything because we couldn't make a decision. What is that one, Alex? Um, no fact. It's just like shredded, ch shredded chicken and cheese. So good. So good. I'm gonna get into that. Let's see this one. What do you think of this one, bro? Mm. Oh, chicken. Give me half of that. to go to the federal police and see if that is actually where we should start and not at the other place but I don't think we can film in here so I'm gonna put the camera away Fair so away. we don't get in trouble bye so Brian step number one is done yeah so it took a little while and there's some paper stamped but we got uh, our passports stamped so we're done with immigration we got 90 we're good days for 90 days and now we move on to customs and the port cap. Um, we've now waited in the car for about one and a half hour and Brian is still in there with Felipe um, doing some things. Um, <laughs> we've, been, we've been discussing what they can be doing in there and 
We don't know. What are they doing? <laughs> like, how many forms do you have to fill out? How? It's. Uh, do you have anything to declare on the boat? No. Stamp. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> like, it's customs. What the fuck? <laughs> it's not that easy. I'm so confused. What are you doing? Read my riddle, I pray. What God never sees, what the king seldom sees, and what we see every day. What is it? <laughs> We're doing riddles. Brady's snoring, so they're coming back. And it's now two hours since they left us. Yay! Okay, what's going on? It took some time. Brazil bureaucracy. Oh, Brazil bureaucracy. Man. What was the deal? Everybody's super, super helpful, but they just have all these systems that need to fill in things and the form won't work and yeah. had to call technical support to get something to happen and another lady had to come down. And Anyway, customs is done. And now we're going to go to the port captain. <laughs> cool. So, port captain next. I guess it's walking distance, so we're gonna see how long this is gonna take. And I guess we will just resume our old positions and carry on with the riddles. <laughs> Welcome to Brazil now officially. Officially checked in. Awesome. It took the entire day. Yeah. But we got it. The Navy dudes were super helpful, super cool. Everybody was really nice and zero money. Didn't cost one. I and you it. had the best translator the best slash translator guy. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> we try, we try. Now let's go eat sushi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Pile into the car again. Woo! Sushi! You guys are gonna have Can to you? move that forward a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're busy doing something out here. Yes, it's cleaning day, and it's very, very, very overdue. Dude, after <laughs> passage cleaning. Oh, and our longest passage is bad. We'll see what Lisa's doing back here. Right. Her hard at work. <laughs> and my job today is cleaning the salon, but our uh, vacuum cleaner, uh, the shop drac, the wet dry vac, is actually making a really weird sound. And it started after the big poo incident in St. Helena. <laughs> so I might take it apart and see if um, I can figure out what is going on. I'm a little scared. You never know what's in there, but uh, all right, let's dig into that. What's going on you might, here? You might want to come out here for this. Is it so gross? I think the air is supposed to get sucked through here and then through here, and then out this way, right? But look at okay. this. Can you see that right there? Oh, oh wow. All that hair, oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, no wonder why the vacuumer is not working as it should. Oh, yeah, let's plug it in and give it a try. One, two, three. <laughs> What are you doing out here? I'm actually on uh, the deck at Maggie this week. The poles need to come down, all the lines need to be put away. We need to make sure the anchor's working because we're about to get off the mooring. You know, like deck things. <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, so I've finished the bathroom now, the stern bathroom. But something I've experienced living now on the boat for over five months already is that Things are getting moldy. Ugh. I've never seen that before. So, for example, my toilet back is covered in mold everywhere. But yeah, I've never seen stuff getting moldy though. So, that's my next mission cleaning my toilet back and getting rid of the mold. A bitch! <laughs> oh, what did you find, Mr. Brady? All right, let me double check the other ones in here. <laughs> Where did you find that? Suck it in there. 
Oh, I was in, I was sitting in my in my bed and I saw a little fur and I was like, oh. Just Look, I'm that. shaking. Whoa. Let me see that hand. That's good. Are you sure that's a shake from finding that, or is that a shake from alcohol withdrawal? I don't know, but okay. I'm excited that we found it. So we we actually we've been there? missing uh, this we've been missing this thing for a long time. So what? You where did you find it? So you just found it just now, Brady. Yeah. Like this. Liar. And you can see the fur. Liar. Crack. So you can see it from there. That's awesome. Because you searched the room so many times. Yeah. And you never found it before. Yeah, no, I what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. The whole time. All right, brother. The whole time. It was like two months ago you put it in here, wasn't it? No, that's not exactly what happened. How long ago was it? So when I was on passage, yeah. I came up here to look for a book. Mm. And this is like the day after I asked you if you'd searched your room, right? Yeah. So I came up here, I was looking for a book and I found it in your in your bookshelf, just like Oh right. just I right. told you I found it right there. there as well. oh. And so I found it and I was I like I was like, there. we have to mess with Brady a little bit. Oh, because I was just a little with bit you. because God we've given it. him so much shit for weeks and weeks and weeks. And so oh. I sat down and I talked to Alex about it. And we came up with a plan. I'll put it somewhere where he'll find it. Or two days later, Alex is like, Brady found it. So he saw it, he found it in his underwear, and he put it somewhere, but he didn't say anything to us about it. So now he's hid it somewhere. He hasn't said anything, and we're just waiting to see when it's gonna come out. I'm really intrigued to see how he like tries to play it off. <laughs> oh, I've been thwarted. Brady, any words? <laughs> I got busted trying to pull a trick. <laughs> I was trying to play a trick on you guys and the whole time you were playing a trick on me. I got slammed. Oh, I love you, brother. Oh. You love you, Brady. Well. You just saw the little, the little white dead cat. Son of a bitch! At least it's just like, liar. Liar. <laughs> liar. Busted. The That's trickster has been tricked. I'm proud of you guys. Since we're all checked in, today is our first real exploring day. Let's go find some waffles! Woo! So we have just stopped for a side road snack. What do we have here, Brady? Oh man, just so happy to be in a country where you can go and get delicious, good food on the side of the road. Something you take for granted in a lot of places. But we've got those things we had yesterday, so there's like shredded chicken inside this dough. It's got um, like dough with chicken inside and spices and it's so freaking delicious. Mm. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> Brazilian sorbet. Wow. Oh. Oh. It's good, yeah. <laughs> what did you get? That's different, right? Ham and cheese, chicken, and chicken and cream cheese. Wow. wow. Grubbing out today. <laughs> you grub. grub. So, we now filled our bodies with a lot of pastry and goodness, and we're ready to continue. <laughs> Some facts uh -huh. about the waterfall, Brady. It's a 30 minute walk. You're gonna go this way. Uh, it's about 720 meters. This way. Any heart conditions? Straight up. You're okay. <laughs> no problems. So we have started the jungle hike into the Brazilian wild. Ilabela is one of the last untouched examples of prime Atlantic forest in Brazil. About 85% of the island is a state park, and it was declared a biosphere sanctuary by UNESCO. What can you smell, Lisa? I smell nature. I smell the greens and the browns and the citronella oh, it's, and water and oh, it's so good. This is so beautiful. What? Oh, there's bananas right there. That's when you know you're in the jungle. 
It's so nice to be in a crazy jungle like this. Like, the air is so crisp. Oh, there's waterfalls everywhere. There's just so much life compared to sometimes in the vast blue ocean. You don't see any, anything living for days and days and days. And then on an island like this, it's just like... So I think this is gonna be the third drop and possibly the biggest one. It was the middle of winter in Brazil and a runoff from the mountains was a little chilly. We didn't really care though. The abundance of fresh water running all over our bodies felt amazing. for so long. What is that? It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. <laughs> After being at sea so long and like the ocean is no, you don't see much life. It's just blue all the time. And then you come here and it's just jungle and life and fresh water and oh, it's really nice. Very nice. And the smell is gorgeous. Now maybe we go to the beach or something. Let's go back to the ocean. Let's yeah. go. Made it. And beautiful places everywhere. Yeah. We're in Brazil at this extremely gorgeous island called Ilha Bela, which is like the beautiful island, on a beach sipping caparenas. And uh, you know it's a really special place when the people are very proud to show you their country because they really believe that it's an amazing place and a beautiful place and has a cool culture and here so far people have been like you know see that you're traveling and they'll come up and they'll say hey you know how are you how are you enjoying it how is your time here is everything okay is there anything i can do to help you and even if they don't speak a lot of english they will at least try to understand and they will try to speak with you in a few english words that you know and then you can speak with them in a few portuguese words and uh I think that's a sign of a very, very cool place, so I'm excited. We just left Namibia two months ago, and we're here in, in a totally different culture on the opposite side of the ocean. And it's, yeah, it's really special. And it wasn't long until we were joined by some new friends. No, it's also it's also Portuguese as well. Belissima puro. That's the name of this boat. Ah, belissima puro. Beleza pura, which means like just pure beauty, just pure awesomeness. I don't. Beleza pura. Beleza pura. Ah, belissima puro. And if you struggle with a common language, music is a beautiful thing. Bye. 
das paixões que vem de dentro Tu vem chegando pra brincar no meu quintal Com teu cavalo feito no cabelo ao vento E o sol parando nossa roupa no varal Tu vem I, I love that it's so vibrant and colourful and it feels so alive. We've been at sea for a long time, very peaceful, very sleepy, and then as soon as we come here, it's like, you hit the ground running. What are you drinking then? I'm drinking a Cuba Libre mm. in pure pirate fashion. We've been drinking the um, local Brazilian drink. Uh, what's it called? Caprinha. Caprinha? It has lemon, sugar, and the liqueur. Kashaka. It's absolutely delicious. But I am having Coke Zero and rum in true Lisbeth style. Cheers to you, guys. Well, my first impression of Brazil so far is I think that we're going to want to stay here just in this one spot longer than we thought. So, in Brazil overall, longer than we thought. <laughs> I must say that was a fantastic day and it's time our friends are leaving the beach. We're going to leave the beach with our caparingas. Move on to the next adventure. Okay. Next on Delos, we move to the other side of the island. Get swarmed by some man eating flies. All the way out here already. Ah, there's like 10 on my legs already. Oh no. Get it? And have our first Brazilian churrasco. Everybody should experience Brazil in this way. Elizabeth. Oh my god! We crossed the seven seas and we left from Africa and it was a fucking laugh and I didn't drink any tea or rum or anything that I wanted to. And he says, we are going to live in the mountains! And Brian's like, Elizabeth, you don't fucking like hiking. <laughs> you don't fucking like hiking and he calls me. How are you gonna survive in the great world out there with a mom fan? I said, Mon Pale on Fonse! Brazil? After three days, Brazil or France? <laughs> Brazil or France? But the difference is Edward or a bunch of. Edward, France has a dick. Brazilian <laughs> happy teenagers. I can't have sex with happy teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> if Jellos teaches you anything, it's follow your heart, please. Yeah. Stay in! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! So, okay. Three minutes later. É seguro o barco. É seguro aqui para meu barco. É seguro aqui para meu barco. Is it safe for my boat here? Yeah. É seguro aqui para meu barco. 
É seguro aqui para minha barco. É seguro aqui para minha barco. Sim, é seguro. É seguro aqui para minha barco. É seguro aqui para minha barco. É seguro aqui para minha barco. Aqui, aqui. É seguro aqui. É seguro aqui, pero para para meu barco. Meu barco. É seguro aqui para meu barco. É seguro aqui para o meu barco. É seguro aqui. Oh! Ah! Rain!